Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from Bharat, and in this video, we're going to talk about how you can control your home connections with a little notepad. So we are going to control that uh, that electricity bulb. You can see there, 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 there. Okay, I cannot control it. So the electricity bulb that is behind me. So we are going to control it with the with the notepad. So let's start. So as you can see here that I'm going to I've already opened it. So I'm going to open the switch panel. So you should be you should take care while doing such things because electricity is not a thing to play with. With other hand, so here you can see a lot of wires. So let's see which bulb control which switch controls the bulb. So here you can see the bulb there. Nope, nope, yep. So the this switch is controlling the bulb. So we need to control these wires. So I'll be back with the connections made. So I have to switch the camera off. So here you can see that I have a little relay module that I'm gonna use to control to turn the light switch on or off. So here I have got some female to male wires but as it is a ribbon cable I have used it for another purpose, another project. I am going to use it here. So just trying to do things as I want. So I cannot do multiple things at a time. So I have to do, so here I have connected the wires. And the other end will be going into the Arduino that the board we have used in the last tutorial so I'm going to put the red wire in plus 5 volts so we in ground ground plus 5 and the other wire will go into the ground so let me show you if you can see that yep I have inserted the pins so now you can see here yep now it's focused so the all these three are unnecessary so we have not connected it so this one is a signal pin so we're going to send a signal from pin let's say pin okay you cannot see it, things so we're going to connect it to pin 8 Okay, you can see here I have connected it to pin number 8 and so the connections are ready so I have to connect it to electrical signal now so hey hello there I'm back and I have created the connection so here you can see that I have removed the wires from let me point it out so I have removed wires from here and I have put them on the relay module so here you can see the wires are connected so I have come make the face common so here you can see it is live okay let me show it if it's live yeah it is live so you can see now yep it is live so the electrical connection is insulated via this relay from the electronics co connection and we are here going we are here controlling this microcontroller and from the pin 8 so as you can see the LED is still here from the last tutorial and I have added another pin to pin number 8 as we already know so here are two connections for the powering the relay module so the chip is currently activated and it is connected to my computer laptop let's let's understand it and see its proper working so as here you know that i have created a new code for i have been make a integer a variable named variable so it's the type integer and i have set its value to zero and i have made some additional variables so it will be easier to read the code 
so relay pin is connected the relay is connected to pin number 8 and led is connected to pin number 13 so we have we are initializing the settings for the relay and led so we we are telling the microcontroller that it is output so we are not going to talk about the c++ code we're going to talk about how it works so in the loop i'm doing the same thing i'm taking the very value of the variable in the from the cmd and depending on the value of the variable one or two i'm turning the bulb electrical bulb on or off so let's see if the thing is working so i'm going to turn my camera on so here you can see that i have that the led is turned off and here i'm op going to open cmd and we are again connected in the com port 3 so in the tools you can see that the arduino is connected to com port 3 so we are going to use this information instead of going into device manager so let's send one so you can also check by the command mode or com of 3 So you can see here that the, on the COM port 3, there are, the baud rate is 9600. So here we have set the baud rate 9600 in the code. So let us send a value. Let's send one. Oh, if we will send one, the bulb will turn off. But the bulb is already off, as you can see here. So let me turn the camera around, and the electrical bulb is off. So let's keep an eye on the bulb. And here I'm going to send two to turn it on and in the com port 3 so if i'll press enter and okay i was not looking at the camera so the bulb is turned on so you can see that if here the led is already on so we have controlled the led in the last tutorial but here we are connect we are trying to control the electrical bulb so you can see the relay is already activated with the green led and the bulb is on so let's turn it off again so we need to send one to turn it off yep let me hold the camera one to turn it off yep the bulb is off and again turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off so you have the control so now you can see you have learned how to control other stuff with this simple technique so you can also control this bulb using a simple notepad script so let me open notepad and that you can see it's already open so I have to open a new notepad and so just you have to write uh, the same command as you have written there in the CMD console so send it to com port 3 save it as control s you can see shortcuts here and i'm gonna save it on f drive so let me name it as on oh what we have done here we have sent the two so on dot bat and just you can see a new file is created so file save as off dot bat save it there so a new file is created as you can see okay my battery is low sir battery is 33 percent yeah yeah i know that so in the after I, if you will double click on it on dot bat so the LED should turn on so there must be some problem so let me first try this yep it's turned on Yep, it's turned off. So this one is the serial port communicator for the Arduino. But we are using CMD as a serial communicator. So when you will double click on on dot bat, so it does some things, some protocols in the background. So I have to launch it first. I don't know why. So when you will turn it double click on the off dot bat, the bulb gets off on off you just need to double click on it you can right click and open it it will turn the bulb off and turn it on off and on 
so you can also you schedule the lighting using the task scheduler of the windows so you can do whatever you want you have the task scheduler app you can schedule it when the, the bulb should turn on and when the bulb should turn off you can do whatever you want now and it's not necessary that it is not necessary that you need to connect it via the wire from to your computer and the wires you can hide hide them as we are doing in the electrical system so you you can get the bluetooth module and other stuff that can connect with this controller chip and can control the chip with the bluetooth of your computer so i hope you like this tutorial and feel free to subscribe and share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial bye